This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart months. We are converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, better family life, better personal life. Hi guys, welcome to the Benjamin Zulu Show. My name is Lily. Still on this book, Healing Your Inner Self to Commence Your Best Life. It's not just healing for healing purposes, but to commence your best life. And we can all do that wherever we are. You might be in your teens, in your 20s, in your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, as in as long as you are above ground this book is for you so please get a copy for yourself by writing to us through the whatsapp line on the screen make your order you can order for as many books as possible we have an infinite number of books um, you can buy for your whole estate make sure everyone gets one so that when you meet on the road you're not colliding yeah, right. <laughs> with road rage you're all healed people we want to be a healed nation isn't Correct. it yeah yeah some people are loyal in putting up with and caring behavior and you're also uh, talking to those people when you talk in chapter six healing from damaging relationships and emotional attachments so you know why would i be loyal with and caring behavior yeah um because you mistake you mistake resilience with with uh, condoning Okay, mm. you've been the, the word compromise has been put there in the mix of marriage, eh? in the mix of relationships. Yes. Eh? We should have a compromise, very romantic, <laughs> you yeah. know, yeah. and that place of tolerance, putting up with each other's weaknesses, yes. you know, empathy. Why, why, why do we conduct weddings without warning people about abuse? Nobody even tries. No, tell me. Please start a church, though, so that you can open no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I can't preach. I think I'll kick people out. Yeah, you will. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't, I don't, I'm not cut out for that. <laughs> so, um, why do we only emphasize the vows, but not the warnings? Oh, because it's all white and flowery. Knowing that bad marriages are one of the leading causes of death and destruction of yes. children and mental destruction and financial drain and poverty why do we only talk the commitments and not the warnings why everything is based on the fact that both of you are as good as you look yes we just go by the appearances mm. and except that warning of does any of you know any reason these two should not what if among them they know <laughs> Why is the question only directed? In fact, the leading cause of the problems will never come from those people. No, they're usually asked. But now you've already reached there. And, uh, you can't say no at that point. It's a point of But we're saying can. the red flag can appear after. Why nobody talks about it after? Oh, okay. All right. The condoning that there's a silence around abuse. There's a silence about red flags. There's a silence about pretense. People pretend that they were didn't until they, they married you. And remember, religious behavior is very easy to mimic. Even mm. the devil himself appears like an angel of light. So if the devil, the devil can appear like, surely, his deputies. And Kwanza, you know, all of us went to Sunday school. <laughs> Everyone knows the Bible you, in you know, Kenya. Yeah. They, can, they can talk like that. We can really go there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we can go there. So yeah. just, this is to say, why we need to hear from, why we mistake condoning abuse with being virtuous. Keeper staying, I don't always jump around. Is because we were never told what is to tolerate and what is to run away from. Okay, what is normal human weakness and what is wickedness? Okay, dishonesty is wickedness, forgetfulness over small things, minor things that are in unintentional is a weakness mm. that you can help them work on if their attitude is they're willing to work on it. Yes. Because if they are defensive around their weak weaknesses, again, you can't help them. Right? Mm -hmm. So, if a person had a struggle in a certain area of being hurt in the past, and they are healing, you see them working on it, they are better now, that's a, that's, that's a, that's a struggle. Mm -hmm. That's a human struggle. Mm -hmm. But if they are using the weakness as a shield to avoid the responsibility, you know, I was damaged as a child, I was left as a child, you know, uh, yeah. and it's every time there's a problem, they bring it up. Even these people who've been in marriages before, you know, my, my, ex, my, ex. my ex this, my ex that, Yes. And you're like, no. And let me tell you, because of how much there was no information, we should prepare for nearly half of society and having to marry right. 
the second time. Okay. I like that. I mean, that group. <laughs> Let's stop making it look like it's outrageous. Yeah. Because of widespread narcissism, which had already been predicted in First Timothy 3, it says the last days people will move. I think it's Second Timothy 3. Uh -huh. People will stop being lovers. They, they start loving themselves, lovers of money, money despisers, just self centered. Yeah. Inconsiderate. Yeah. The widespread um, narcissism was already predicted and is here. Mm. So, because of that, People who love money more than they love their children, more than they love their partners, they don't keep their promise, they lie, they, 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 they you can't even know. So because of that, there will be a lot of shake in the marriage space and, and also lack of information. We didn't know how deceptive people can be and we trusted them just like we were trustworthy. Mm. This is to warn people that there's a difference in condoning. When you condone, you get hurt, you get damaged. But when, when we put up through difficulties of life with each other while we are being friends and protective of each other, that's the hell the way. That's the right tolerance. Right. Yes. Okay. So get yourself a copy for that and more. And we were saying there's something for everyone. And even the things that are not exactly for you, you can read and know so that you'll be able to accurately advise a friend who is in that kind of trouble. That said, today we are talking about signals that people give you to show you you are not the one for them. But we are ignoring because we are people of faith. You know, yeah. the first one is when they talk too much or too little about marriage. Okay, start with too much. What's when, wrong with that? When, when all they're saying is how they're getting married and you're getting names for your babies and... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what we want. Where you're going to live and how this will happen. They even start calling you their husband or their wife. They start calling you the spouse name. They start calling you the pet name. They start putting you in that space. E what's wrong with that? They're usually trying to lower your guard to snatch away from you. But I'm doing the same. We're, in, we're in that energy. No. Yes. You're trying to get married. You're not trying to joke. Mm -hmm. But be careful when from the onset, people tell you they're not looking for girlfriend or, or, or boyfriend. They're looking for, for partner, for, for spouse. Mm -hmm. Usually it's a bait. You wouldn't put it out that way. When you're going for plots or looking for property, you never tell sellers that you just want to, you just want to buy, don't want jokes. Okay. Uh -huh. If you put it that way, you'll only be telling you have ready cash that they should try and get it away mm. from you. You just be, actually, even when you're determined to sell, you always hold your horses with careful. You, 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 you come with caution yeah. to leave the room to check out easily. Mm. Because you know your interests are at stake. So anytime a person is leading the energy of me, I don't want jokers. I'm only looking for serious people. Ladies have a tendency of putting that serious people only. Yeah, that's why I'm wondering, what are you saying? Who cares? You are the only agent for yourself. So who are you telling? Okay. You're telling the highness that you're actually honest, you're ready to invest in full? Yeah. You're just attracting the real highness. They know you're loaded now. Okay. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so even when you're trying to marry for serious marriage, don't put it out there. Just behave it. Okay. And uh, I was telling some, some, some guys, especially men, Men have been marrying very carelessly, especially by cohabiting. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. So they start consulting about the, a person they're already living with. They're saying, there's no point consulting whether you should be marrying a person you're already living with. Already behaving parents, try to create babies, try to, to live married. Mm -hmm. Already mixed emotionally, already mixed socially, yeah. already mixing your life. And then you are, you're you not sure whether they are the ones you want to marry. It don't lead to that degree of carelessness. This to say, if a person is leading with this, just get mad. Let's just cohabit it. Let's, let's start living together. Anyway, let's, let's, oh, let's. Okay. When they are moving so quickly, so fast, okay. something is dangerously wrong. This person could be desperately impatient, or they could know that they have a problem they don't, they don't need to discover on time. Okay. Or they, they, they are not on your level, but they, you have mistaken them, and they are trying to take advantage of your blindsidedness. Yeah. So there's a reason people want to get to commit you, to, to get you to a deal quickly, eh? Yeah. Before you recognize the truth. And I feel like I think especially if they have money. Yes, and oh you have money. You know, some one of yeah. you has money. Yeah. <laughs> so you can facilitate the speed. Yes. Yeah. And even when there's no money, they say let's start we shall formalize later. Yeah. Whatever is worth getting into is worth formalizing before you go into. Are we together? Yes. If it's worth investing in your life, it's worth formalizing first. 
at whatever cost. Weddings don't have to be grand and costing millions. Yes. Wedding can be the size of your pocket. Yes. In fact, many churches are happy to do it on a Sunday. Who said it must be done on a Saturday? If you told your people that, oh, you want, and actually when they see you trying to do things right and you have been a sincere person, a member of a community, mm. you say, let's see what you can get and work with what you can get. Mm. No more people budget first and they ask for that budget. Yeah. Other people say, let's get what we have, then you budget with that. With that, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yes. there's no reason to say we went in because we had no money, we formalized later. Yeah. When you start with cohabiting, the level of caution is so low. Because the boundaries, the, the lines are so blurry. Mm. You get sexually involved sooner. You get mm. emotionally involved sooner. Mm. By the time you realize the real person, you're already in. Mm. And you thought you're getting a good deal. They, they too, they, and many times you don't know who knows the other one better. Yeah. Whatever is worth investing your energy in, is worth it doing right the first time. Yeah. That should be your idea. So those people come with marriage into their mouth throughout. At first, they're, they're tricking. They're getting ready to skin you. Oh. <laughs> They're marinating you to, <laughs> to <laughs> exactly. cook you. Uh, they want you to lower your guard. And those who don't talk about marriage at all because the marriage is not in their mind. Mm. They don't see you that way. In fact, those people date you for years and, and drop you and marry somebody within a few months mm. because you were sweet to be with, but you are not the marriage type. It was not their marriage time. They never saw you in terms of marriage. But because you, you wanted the language of marriage so much, they talked it to get you. Uh, but you know very well this is not the situation. Okay. A year goes, another one goes. By the time you allow yourself to be used that way, you are very cheap and confused. Whether you are the man or the woman. Okay. Long-running relationships show confusion, lack of respect for yourself, lack of touch with your seasons. Anytime in a long-run relationship you lose your intuition, you lose touch with your intuition. It becomes just emotional investment. And the longer the years go, the longer it is to pull, the harder it is to pull out. Socially, you become associated with that person. Mm. And then community, communities like you are a thing that you're not a thing. You are formal, you, you have together in fact, but you're not together officially. Mm. You, you have invested, but there is no security. It's, it's like you have paid everything, but you don't have any assurance. Yeah. And when it finally shatters, you feel so shattered and you, you can't go to any court of law because there was nothing legal. You, you have been permanently robbed of five years and emotional torture that will take you another cycle to heal from. What are you doing there for two, three? We are growing together. Hmm. Why can't you grow alone? Why are you so afraid of growing alone? <laughs> Why don't you grow into your own element? Why are you growing into a person? <laughs> what is it? You're giving into an infatuation and you're trying to whitewash it, giving it good language. That you want to know each other before that. Know what? Know yourself first. So that you can know what works for you, what does not work for you. Who told you you're going to the same direction, by the way? You're going together. Who told you you're going to the same direction? What are you based on? What are you basing it on? Oh, by that time, that you'll have known. Who do you, do you know who you're dealing with? Which animal is this? You don't have eyes to see who you are. And the parameters of marriage. Yeah. The parameters of life. You're just giving in to an emotional attraction. And then you're so, we saw no sex before marriage. So you think that man is carrying what? Inside this trust, a pump? <laughs> Do you think he doesn't have feelings? Oh. We promise each other. That time there was no emotional invest. He knows when the emotional invest the invested, he tell you, give me or I go. And, but because you're already invested. <laughs> to yeah. be very delicate. Yeah. <laughs> you know, your heart does not know how to love tentatively. Your heart loves fully. Especially you're still uh, if you're a real person. <laughs> you know. So you know, I, I think you've dropped something there. Yes. Celebrate dating. For an extended uh, uh, extended period of time is also a trap. It's not even practical because the more I view you, you're my girlfriend. Tell me, I love. Whenever you tell a man I love you, feels testosterone rush. <laughs> I love you too. Oh. So he imagines consummating all that, getting you know to yeah. That. So at the point he struggles, you struggle too. So why are you setting all this meat here? You know we are, we are roasting it, but you're not eating now. <laughs> we, we are sworn, but we will not. No, we, we have actually sworn. We have promised each other. <laughs> so, no. So, if a person is not talking about marriage, it's just about love, 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 they like you, they describe your dimples and you like it, let's say eyes. We now go to the ears. So, after you describe that way, one cycle, another cycle, another. 
what is happening fantasizing yeah getting obsessed with and all that and what happened you can't chill forever you must swallow at some point <laughs> <laughs> What are people are trying? What are they trying? <laughs> what are you trying exactly? <laughs> it be, let me tell you, some things are widespread, but they're so destructive. When you sit to reflect on a personal level, you realize it's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> so you should only go there when you're in the season to settle. Okay. And you know the dating will be controlled, knowing you have a hope in your head. At what point will the pressure be released? So why are you building pressure that you're not released? Yeah. Why are you charging when you cannot discharge? So br the brother gets into masturbation. Even if he is trying very hard. After yeah. he spent a whole day in view of the pressure has mounted, where will he take it? Hmm, you become the mattress. So he imagines you in the mattress. That's <laughs> the theatrics. <laughs> <laughs> we know them. We know them. Okay. We know them. We know them. We have lived in uh, we, brothers. Our world is quite open. <laughs> So you have been with Lily now. You, there's no Lily there. That's a blanket. Can you stop harassing the poor man? I'm a blanket. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so oh. you should date when you can contain yourself within a reasonable time. Yeah. If you are normal, your feelings will get worked up. If you love the person, your feelings mm -hmm. will flare. If you love them. Mm -hmm. So if they la talk too much about marriage, they're trying to trap you. If they don't talk about it at all, they're trying to use you. Or you're both naive. Oh, you're both naive. You could just be innocently naive. And what will happen is you lose track of your season. In fact, those two, three years, four years, you could have developed a powerful life-changing skill. You could have become a millionaire. Now here you are, just a broken heart. Between a million and a broken heart. <laughs> Honestly, can you do your mathematics? <laughs> you're broke. Please listen to me. And can you announce these people that counselors are not dump site? <laughs> I'm just looking for somebody to listen to me. After you do your madness, that you could not even apply a eighth of your brain. You want a counselor who is trained certified, who took his time to step to come and now deal with your madness, that you refuse to apply even a tenth of your brain. I was dating this guy for 10 years. Excuse I don't need something that pay. I don't have money. You see, I'm not even, I was not even studying so. <laughs> Counselors are not dump sites. We also choose what we listen. And, and they charge. <laughs> Actually, when you go to dump sites, you're supposed to pay to dump. So even when oh. you're heartbroken, you need money. Thank like, you very much. And instead of building money, you are... <laughs> can you build your earning abilities so that when you're heartbroken, yeah. you can buy the medicine? Are we together? 100%. That should be survival instinct. Yes. <laughs> 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 Don't risk heartbreak when you can't afford the medicine. Please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right? Yes. And, 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 and for young men, because a lot of young men are throwing... Uh, the reason many men grown can't love sincerely because when they were young they loved stupidly. Say that again. Many grown men can't love sincerely because when they were young they loved it stupidly and they were hurt stupidly. We say yeah. when you play stupid games you win stupid rewards. Yes. You love the wrong woman with all your heart. <laughs> oh gosh, why am I laughing? That's, that's <laughs> tragic. You love the wrong woman with all your heart. She yeah. dropped you like a hot cake. Yeah. And you're yet to heal. No. So your arm's length. That's why a lot of sons are disoriented. Their father was just emotionally dry. He was just there. Caricature. Mm. This man was wounded long time ago. And he just can't open emotionally. Can't chat. Can't small talk. Can't relax. Can't connect. Can't validate. Cannot open. Cannot share his life story. He's a stranger with his own son. Yeah. Stranger. Uh -huh. Totally. The only way to connect with children is when you journey with life vulnerably. You open, you share your life, you share your story, yeah. and you cannot do that when you're so careless with matters concerning relationships. Yeah. And, and, and you get entangled here. So the right balance to know the person is the right one is when they, they, they say that they, they show you that their season is ripe mm. for that next season. Mm. But neither are they despite, they're not rushing anything. Neither are they avoidant. They're actually, in, you see them investing energy in us getting to know each other. The right person invests in trying to establish a connection without rushing anything or avoiding. No okay. rushing, no avoiding. That's the right balance. Hey. They uh, show up for the dates, you uh -huh. show up for the phone calls, you uh -huh. talk, you, they open about their life, you talk about their life, and you can see everything around their life is gearing towards that. They're not just passing time. Okay. All right? Yeah. So the first sign they showed you is when they're always calling you pet names, trying to love bomb you towards this, and you assume now they look like they are committed, they are serious. 
your person is not taking a time to know you because they, they know something you don't. Okay. They are conning you. <laughs> They're conning you. <laughs> Please. They know something you don't. You don't count yourself lucky. You yeah. count yourself unlucky. And you run. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And if they are not talking marriage, because they like how sweet you are, but they, they are not ready to commit for the commitment you want. Yeah. Your beauty is visible to anybody with eyes. If I need that to be breaking news, please receive it as breaking news. <laughs> that a lot of people can see you a handsome guy who has direction. Mm. Please. Mm. People can sense you. Yeah. So the fact that a guy a lady crashes on you should not be breaking news. Should not break you. Yeah. A lot of men have never been accepted by any woman. Uh-huh. So the first one a woman that shows he, he, he can't control himself. Especially if she's so, so dressed very sexually seductively. I don't know if I'll be digressing. What are some of the reasons why a man would have never been accepted by any woman? He was unskilled. He was, he was clumsy. He never knew how to mm. talk nicely. Just keep texting you, hi, 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 hi. <laughs> Can you imagine? And interview questions. Imagine. <laughs> what did you do today? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? What did you eat? <laughs> yeah, what did <laughs> what are you I wearing? eat what people I eat what people eat. <laughs> what are you wearing? <laughs> so they, they were rejected because of stupid results. They just never grew. I mean, can you evolve? Just read a book. Just read when me women are men are from us. <gasps> you know some men are, are wasting all their time on social media? You actually have a book called Dating Right, isn't yes. it? Yeah. We, we, we should also tell them about it next time. Yes, we will. To know how to converse normally. Yes. The, the skill of conversation so is to say that's the first red flag the second red flag is the second sign they give you early on that this is not going anywhere is when they tease with deal breakers oh mm -hmm. they throw it as a joke but it's a potential deal breaker mm -hmm. deal breaker one lady say one guy said the lady had said when they were dating at some point what if you found out that i was a lesbian <laughs> Where did, and because it was of his naivety, you know, when you are naive, you, you ignore huge things. Mm -hmm. If you are not, where would that come from? Were you introducing a story that you know mm -hmm. a person who just mm -hmm. found out? Mm -hmm. What is the context here? Yeah. You can't pluck that from the air. Yeah. Those are not things you would say. <laughs> you know, if you're not heterosexual, where are we going? <laughs> I'm not another woman. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> and so I'll just inform you, sorry. I'll just inform you that I'm not another woman. <laughs> and I'm out. <laughs> Neither am I, I'm Phoebian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so okay. the, the thing to say about people tease with mm. drill breakers mm -hmm. is what if you found out that I cheated on you? What if, uh, you, what if that I was my money away? What if I had a child? What if fake peas with things that are not no more to joke with? Many times it's true. It could be just an issue-based conversation. I want to know your views on it. Again, very good. When it's an issue-based conversation, you should hear the context after that. Okay. If they don't provide context, where is it coming from? Again, what did Sigmund Freud say? Human beings cannot hide anything, cannot keep their secret. If they don't talk with their mouth, their fingers talk. If they don't talk with their fingers, body just their face. They, 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 something, if you just observe it, people will tell on themselves. And one way is when they test the waters with something concealed as a joke mm. or a prank. Some pranks are very offensive. People are actually testing you with something that looks real. How are they expecting you to react? They say it was a prank. But they set up a different account to chat you like they are a different person. Oh. To flirt with you. I think for me where, where I would start suspecting is if it, it's, it seems extra. Because I think people joke, Benjamin. People joke. Would you joke with something that is nowhere in your life? Psychologically jokes slip of the tongue and dream talking are never innocent L let me give you an example i would ask somebody what would you do if i cheated not because i want to cheat or i'm cheating but because i know some people have outrageous like 
you know after they respond to the joke you go on to explain that isn't it okay okay yes. you get it yes if it's a whole conversation with the context but if out of the blues somebody asks you something that is not and even after you respond you don't hear context oh it's just okay yeah. they are actually testing waters listen some cheating measure, cheating is a, a lot in society and it can come up in many conversations so we are not saying anything a person mentions a word because we can be commenting on an item in the news okay a social media post article we saw yeah but if out of nowhere people check your reaction about something that is so personalized mm. many times they're giving a hint and we said some things are not red flags they are alarm to come okay. close and look okay now you start being more observant you start checking things around that area around that area mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. many times people want to see whether you can condone you can condone this whether you can condone that mm -hmm. to establish a, a consensus with you that allows that behavior yeah so that when it happens you have already said nobody is perfect you know people cheat no problem you know nobody is perfect uh, yeah. you, you have already established something like that yes to make you condone it you know yeah and a lot of times also when people are teasing with you with checking your waters they could also be deeply paranoid ah. some people are not bad people to marry because of what they are thinking it's because of where they are in their growth some people have never overcome the trauma and paranoia that made them excessively panicky around some issues mm -hmm. that they can't give you peace imagine a person was cheated on under certain circumstances and then they cannot trust that circumstance again yeah. They were hurt around a person who had this personality and your mm. friends who have that personality the person cannot trust them. Yeah. The industry of music for example, let's say you're a music producer. Mm -hmm. Music producers work during ungodly hours. Sometimes mm -hmm. they need to shoot when it is quiet. Yes. And the only time it's quiet is 2 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they, they had a recording and that group traveled from Western to come and record. And you have to do them in one shoot. Yeah. And it is taking you eternity to coordinate them. <laughs> so you have a 24 hour shift. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and another 12 hour sleep. Mm. <laughs> so, what if this person had a cheating encounter around music production? Oh. Film production? Yes. Now they have to come also be among the crew to watch you. <laughs> <laughs> or they have spies among your crew. Oh, no. If they have not healed and they may, you know. Me, if a person ever, ever without this, with it, because of that, what they have not healed from, mm. people have extreme paranoia and fear and obsessiveness and 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 and, and the panicky people have that obsession that uh, around that area. Or a person who is testing waters, they usually throw in open-ended questions that are hinting at something that will never be nowhere in your psychology. Mm. Remember, nothing, everything is usually connected to something else. People can't come out of nowhere and say, what if you discovered I was a, an Al-Shabaab? Where is Al-Shabaab? And me? Where is the connection with the terrorism? <laughs> where did that come from? <laughs> you should also ask. Yeah. Well, no, I was just joking. Joke? But okay. From where? Do you get it now? I get you. I get you. <laughs> you know, because this guy and Al-Shabaab... Huh? What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> you know? Well, just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By the time it gets into your head, it is somewhere in your life. That is a psychological rule. We don't pluck things from the thin air unless we wanted to illustrate a story and get some conversation going. You know? Yeah. So the that rule you shall check whether they are giving you signals that you are not that you are missing. Is when they have qualities that they wished for and you don't have them and they have never made peace with it because they keep mentioning them. Well, they have qualities they wanted some qualities in a man uh -huh. and you don't have them uh -huh. and they keep bringing them up i met several ladies ah. when i was dating ali and for them having very nice polished hair was important <laughs> i don't know why i was my mind was also on that <laughs> uh -huh. they really had the character in the head yeah who had that very shaped hair now yeah. was i going to do the hair <laughs> implant <laughs> was i going to conduct a surgery on my poor head <laughs> you know, we've been talking all this long. They can see your photos. Yeah. How you are. Yeah. Why are they coming to harass you with what you don't have? <laughs> when you, if you realize I can't help myself there, make up your mind. Move on. Yeah. yeah. Do you want this? 
<laughs> this is what I have. <laughs> this is what I have to work with. Yeah. So some people noticed that they wanted a certain size, body shape, yeah. seating allowance, front dashboard. Yes. And you don't have it. Why do they keep bringing it up? Why do they keep complimenting people have it? Why, why, is it, why is that still in your conversation when it's not you? That's not what you're made of. Yeah. We miss that only to end up with people who behave like they're dissatisfied with you. You're not enough. Mm -hmm. They're passing a message that you're not quite enough. I wish you were this way. I wish you were this way. And they can get you to a point where you're always trying now to compensate. Trying to be this because you don't, you're not that. <laughs> and no longer asking you, them for what you need because now you're being put on the defensive. And every time they bring it up, they gloss. You should cancel. In fact, you should be ready that when the conversation comes up again, even if you're meeting that day, you cancel immediately. Mm. I can't go on that kind of energy. And even if the person is in denial, you know, sometimes they're in denial, you help them interpret their own words. <laughs> this thing matters a lot to you because you keep bringing it up. Yeah. No, 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 no. I love you the way you are. I, I'm, just, I'm just sharing with you because you're my friend. Okay. The fact that you're sharing, it, it's ringing in your head. I'm not, you are not contented with what I have. There's something you wanted that I don't have. And I'm sorry I can't provide that. Let me help you. Find a person who has... We don't get people who have everything we want. But you find people who have the main things. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like if I really want to care, I should not look for a bald man. <laughs> because you will torment him. Or, or I need to make up my mind and move on from it. Is it? Yes, and it disappears from our conversations. Yes. But if you're always thinking about it, you keep noticing those kind of guys. Yeah. You keep fantasizing with them. <laughs> you keep, and you can now plant insecurities when this guy sees you yeah. the, with a person with those kind of qualities. Okay. Because they know that that, that was your crush. Yeah. And they don't know why you settled for something less than your crush. Yeah. The reason you need to help people early is because before they get attached to the package you are, you help them mm. keep choosing the package they want. Okay. Because sometimes there may be other qualities that are very strong with this person who does not have the hair you wanted. Yes. But they have another very good quality. They're very attentive. Yes. But nevertheless, for your chemistry, for your excitement, you know, sometimes these this, this appearance things are too <laughs> personal. <laughs> but I find it so petty because he might have hair today and then uh, 20 years later. <laughs> no, you'll implant it. Oh, you can pick, <laughs> preserve photos and you Photoshop, you Photoshop him <laughs> with the earlier photos. <laughs> No, <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> let, let, let us you you find a way to preserve <laughs> what you like. Okay. And so uh, there, there are there are ladies wanted certain height. What if I'm not reaching that height? <laughs> ladies are obsessed over height and hair and a few things about us. I don't know why you bully us. <laughs> With things we no, can't control. No, you're also bullying us. <laughs> don't, don't, don't try to victimize yourself. <laughs> Why describe my brother's height? He can't help. Will he jump and stay in the air now? Will he wear high heel? Why do you uh, uh, height? <laughs> you know, when you call brother short, short compared to who? You know, short is relative. It's relative. When when you go to the Eskimos and the Koi Koi's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. three foot is very tall. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. you always say taller. Than okay. you come from your height. Okay. <laughs> <Tara specified. laughs> you know, right. or measure yourself and ask a guy on the video. So how tall are you again? <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm, uh, my dad. My dad was this tall. You can always beat around the bush to get there. <laughs> yeah. Or you get a photo of him standing on the door. The standard door is usually six feet. So <laughs> if, if, you, if you if you usually, <laughs> so you can actually estimate okay. the door of the house. Mm. Otherwise, the camera, you know, close up, is mm. always full on the screen. Your mm. screen has no scale. Yeah. <laughs> Anything, even a baby, can be full there. Yeah. That giant guy can also be full there. <laughs> so, yeah. but I hear iPhone has measurement. Oh. <laughs> you can measure just on the screen. Okay. <laughs> you can measure things. This is to say, if a person has a consistent wish that you cannot fulfill, and they are not coming off directly, okay, I love you. Don't be blinded by the fact that I love you. Sometimes people, I love you, but you're not enough. I love you, but I wish you had this. Mm -hmm. I love you, but there's another person I can love more. I love you, but I've not made peace with the fact. I love you, but I love you, but always get the but, even when it's not being said directly. Yes. Okay. Is there a point in dating when I am allowed to lobby for my, for my, like maybe it's a battle of mindsets. 
um, or a battle of like che the cheating question. What do you? What would you do if you discovered I've cheated? So there are people who will say that's it for the relationship, and then there are others who will say it is case by case. We will. We would only know depending on the circumstances. Yes. So are there are there stages of dating where I am allowed to lobby for my worldview or once I realize that your worldview and mine is different is the thing now to just walk away? Yeah, so obviously from those two positions most mature people will say let cheating be judged case by case. First yeah. of all when you say cheating was it emotional or physical? Was it yeah. sexual? Was it financial? What infidelity? What break? Of, how much trust? Wh what? What is the package? What? Hap what happened? What's the whole damage? Yes. <laughs> what happened? The whole thing. Yes. And and w was this person intoxicated? Yeah. And a cornered? Very rare, but not <laughs> impossible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Were they on a one-year dry spell? Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's case by. So my question was. <coughs> Not really on the cheating. Yes. But on the... Divergence opinion. Yeah. You don't lobby. You express and you hear them out there. There's in, do you... Are they... Are they ca can you really get along? Because some issues... We never see... We cannot be the same in everything. But mm -hmm. vital areas around monogamy... When you hear a person saying men are inherently polygamous, what are they telling you? Over time, the circumstances are lying. I'll join that. Yes. I'll join that wagon. Yes. When you hear the fact that uh, women don't tell their issues, women are never, you know, women are, what are they telling you? They. For a woman, the mother comes number one. What is she telling you? For her, the mother is number one. Everything. She can never leave. She can cleave. So when you realize the opinion is around vital issues and is divergent, you allow, you, you allow them to go on their path early on in life without even so much investment. But if we are disagreeing over which cars are made better, if, <laughs> if we are disagreeing, Lily likes BMW. Yeah. And me, I have an opinion against Germany, for example. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just pro US. Yeah. Pro England. <laughs> you know? Yeah. That may not threaten. But there's another thing we should discuss later about political divergent opinions. People can break up over political differences. Yes. And none of them is vying for any seat, by the way. Yeah? Yes. This is just support of different parties. Yes. So the support of football, politics, sometimes you become a member of a certain school of thought, and the school of thought affects your worldview. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know balance and moderation, if you do not carefully measure how much you pour out, it becomes argumentative and bile and bitter mm -hmm. and aggressive and abrasive in your espousing of the opinions, and around many other areas that are just contentious. Yeah. People can just believe this way about abortion. They believe this about abortion. But they believe this way. Yes. And although they may not directly affect, you know very well, there will be the school of thought of our family. The areas around which you can converse, where, which, which is a contentious point. Yeah. And you should, maturity trumps those gray areas. Mm -hmm. Knowing okay. that our family comes first. Yeah. And I can allow you to carry some opinions of yourself. Mm. Well, I go with opinions of myself in another area, yeah. but you can still have conversation because when you have too many differences, I can't be free mm. because I keep yeah. I keep trumping over something you disagree. Trump is only disagree, and those disagreements are very uncomfortable. Yeah, that's why many people are just quiet. They're married, but they're quiet. <laughs> the only place that's safe. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot talk. Yeah, the disagreement areas are too many. The, the the quiet place is the only place that is safe. Yes, so it's a yeah. disconnect. Mm. A disconnect. Okay. Yes. What do you make of people who talk... Uh, uh, there's something you said. Someone who says something that has nothing to do with anything. Yes. But I've met... I once dated someone who would say things that have nothing to do with anything. And, you know, no bearing, no... What is that? Is that a, a mental thing? It's what a is that? <laughs> They were losing touch with reality anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. just on a loose note, but to say, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a joke. I, I wasn't sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sometimes uh -huh. uh, people can be picking ideas. If you find them, they're too outlandish. Ask them. If what they're saying is just discoordinated out of nowhere, yeah. Find out whether they are conscious about whether they are joking. Whether they are conscious. If they are not conscious about it, there's something we said.
-huh. If you discover that a person has a dysfunctional family dynamic with their family, relationship with their siblings, with their relatives, and they are not aware of it, don't date them. Okay. First of all, try to awaken them to it. Because sometimes people just need a friend to mirror them. Mm. How come you're talking so many times with your father? Yeah. In a day? Is he unwell? Are you, is there a chicken project you're running together? <laughs> so why is he calling you so many times? You're a grown up. Yeah. Are you asking for this kind of money, the other kind of money? Okay, what is going on there? Uh, somebody can awaken you and you wake, wake up. Mm. But if you realize they have a sick, dysfunctional relationship with their family and they are defensive, don't go ahead. Okay. Because they'll pit you against the family and you'll lose every time. It's interesting, you've gone to the family. So you think it could be background based? Yes. Okay. We are product of that of that system and many times it takes us a lot of journey to ever outgrow them. Okay. Yes. Right. Um, thank you so much for the insights. I know we've all learned a lot. Thank you for watching. Remember to grab yourself a copy of the book and see you on the next episode. Bye. This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart matters. We are converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, better family life, 